Carol Mitchell's re-election campaign. And I want to thank all of you for coming out and welcome you here. I know I see all kinds of faces that I recognize. But don't ask me to introduce them to, to, to the person next to you because I'll have trouble. And half an hour later, I can give those whole pedigrees. You never know what you're up against. But anyway, I'd just like to say that we really appreciate your being here tonight, and we also look forward to your participation in what's going to be a hard-fought campaign. They're always that way. There's no sense thinking that anything goes from the past. It starts now. The one thing we're very fortunate in, Carol has done a wonderful job, and there's an awful lot of people in this riding, you and Bruce, that I'm sure know and appreciate that. I hope they're not sure. Yeah, yeah. I hope they're not silly enough to think there's any alternative to that. <laughs> so now, with that, I'd like to uh, call on Kevin Pettigrew. He's the campaign manager for the House re election campaign. And he has some words for you about the campaign and things that you can do to help him. Thank you. Kevin, thank you, Howard. Thank you for coming tonight. It's a great turnout. I'm very happy to be here. Open the office and launch the website. Before I start, I just wanted to uh, make a mention to uh, the uh, dignitaries in the crowd. We've got former uh, MPP for Bruce, Murray Alston, Dr. Rose. We've got former Here um, and Bruce MP, Paul Steckley. I also see former Huron County Warden Doug Layton here today. Anybody else? I through there, you can make a donation through there, 
you can look at videos, you can look at news stories, find out where we're going to be, what we're up to. Link to the Twitter account, link to the Facebook account. Carol can be Twitter through the whole campaign, so that's a good way to sort of, sort of keep up with things. Lots of good news stories. Over here, this is something if you want to point your friends to. They want to look. This is sort of, we've set this up a scrolling of the big things that Carol's been able to accomplish in the last eight years. Sort of scrolls over there at the side, some really key, interesting, you know, dynamic things, <coughs> what we've been able to accomplish. So that's all on there. Um, that website is live as of today. So if, if anybody ever needs any information, that's your spot. Again, votecarolmitchell.ca. Uh, the only uh, other thing, uh, canvassing, as I said, is something where you're going to need help with. If anybody's interested in uh, doing a canvas tomorrow in Exeter, we're going to be doing Exeter from about 10 to 12.30. Uh, come see me before the end of the night, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll, I'm looking at you, Bob, <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll, get that, uh, we'll get that set up. Uh, other than that, I'm going to turn it back to Howard. Thank you again, everybody, for coming um, to the office. We're also going to have, just sort of a last note, have offices in Port Elgin and Walkerton that will be opening probably in the week leading up to the, the rate dropping, probably in the couple, the couple days around the, the September 8th day. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll turn it back to Howard. Thank you again for coming, and, and have a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, I noticed as we waited to this point in our meeting that Carol came in and Carol did the room. She she's really knows how to do that and it means a lot. And you've got it uh, you've got to get that in your uh, in your being to to make the impression you need. And we've got to Remember, when we're trying to help her, that we have to keep the focus on Carol because she's our member. She's done the work in the riding. She's prepared to do it again, and we've got to have her there to do it. So I'm, I'm very pleased to, at this time to call on Carol Mitchell, the candidate for Bruce Huron riding. Well, thank you everyone for coming out this evening. It uh, means a lot to me and I sincerely appreciate all of the hard work that you have put into making today a reality. All the work that has happened in the writing of Huron Bruce since 2003 has happened because of your work. Um, I walk after Murray Elston, I walk after Paul Steckley, and those are very big shoes to fill. But think about it, I've thought a lot about what I needed to say tonight. And what I want to share with you tonight is, we have come so far. We have seen our riding become prosperous. We have seen our riding, our health care has been strengthened, our education system has been strengthened, our communities are stronger today because of the work that all of us have brought to the table and made happen. And so I look at the platform for the Conservatives who want to take us back, they want to take us back to what we had before, when it was cutting and slashing and destroying rural Ontario. And we have on the other side the um, New Democratic Party that wants to shut down our largest employer. Think of the devastation of 5,000 jobs gone from our riding. 5,000 jobs. We have the Tories on one side who want to cut all our services for $14 billion. And on the other side, we have someone who wants to rip the heart out of our community. And so this election, like no other election, will be setting the course for Ontario. We are leading in Canada in recovery. We were damaged the most, and we're now leading. We're leading in the world in education. That all happens because of hard work of teachers, of hard work of our nurses, our doctors, everyone working together 
But we have a strong leader in Dalton McGinty. And he has a strong vision.